Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through embedded SQL. So, the standard SQL defines the base of SQL commands and be executed from within a program of a programming language such as C, C++, Java, COBOL, Pascal, Fortran, PHP, etc. So, this is known as embedded SQL. So, basically, you will be using the database and you will be accessing the database using the language SQL which is written in some blocks of PHP or some blocks of another languages. So that is nothing but embedded SQL. So this helps our programs to connect the databases as most of the time when we are programming. Sometimes then we may need to need some information from the database as we cannot store large amount of files. So here we use the concept of embedding SQL. So this helps us to retrieve the data really faster. So the languages which support these type of things we will be calling them as host languages so these are the host languages so we can do this with the help of cursors so we will be using the concept of cursors so the syntax of execution will be exec sql so that is nothing but embedded sql statements will be written here exec sql connected to server user username using password connected to server user username using password so in that way you will be connecting guys and declaring the variables in host language, we will be declaring in this way, execute exec sql begin the declaration session int credit amount. So this will be your int value, integer value, fine. Okay, so and we'll, you will be ending the declaration session. In this way, you will be declaring the values. So now let us go through a small cursor so that we can have a clear idea. Fine. Cursor. Cursor is a pointer which can point to a relation to do, select and update behalf of the host language so instead of the host language we will be using this cursors so execute sql declare cursor for select id name from the student where tot that is nothing but total credit is greater than the credit amount so we will be using this colon because this is declared in our language of host language so that that is the reason why we will be using it so open cursor we will be doing in this way and fetch cursor you will be doing in this way Closing cursor you will be doing in this way. Fine. Okay. So further moving on. We can use the cursor in this way also. So we can declare the cursor. We will be selecting operation. We will be having the department. We will be executing. We will be updating. We will be setting the values. And we will be condition. We'll be, we can even have conditions for cursors. So now I hope everyone got a small idea. At least on this topic. Cursors and embedded SQL. So I have only a basic idea on that guys so that's the reason why i have just skipped the most of the explanation so i hope everyone got at least a small idea of the introduction to embedded sql so in the next tutorial we'll be going through functions and procedures thank you thanks for watching